intimacy to God. If it is a prayer, then pray to God. Take a moment before we close. Take a moment. It's a very personal time. A moment of intimacy with your master. Jesus said, I do this so that you will believe. He wants you to go from here with a new level of believing and faith in your heart. What is lacking there? What is lacking in your life? The Holy Spirit is revealing it to you. So as your hands are lifted up in the presence of God, tell, tell him as you go tonight to God, let there be a new revelation a new level of understanding, a new commitment, and a new burning within my spirit, and a new confession and a testimony to tell the world boldly and relentlessly that I was blind, but now I see. You can put your hands down. Father, I thank you for this wonderful time you've given to us today. Thank you for the worship, thank you for the word, thank you for the power, and thank you for speaking to our hearts tonight, oh God. As we go from this place, we pray that regard your power, your presence. Go with us, let that passion burn within us, oh God. Let the love of God continue to burn within us, oh God, so that we will continually be activating what we have stored for a long time in our life. It will find its use the outworking of your spirit of God that you have worked within us. And I bless the people. I thank you for the servant of God who brought the message. And I thank you for everyone who is present here. Thank you for our church. And I thank you, Lord. The last 45 years you have kept us and blessed us and prospered us. Used us in various ways, not only in this city, but around the world. And we humbly come to you once again and say that, oh God, there are much more territory to be won. There is much more than you have for us. And help us to realize that, and recognize that, and step forward in faith as we together glorify you. We thank you once again in Jesus' name. Amen. By the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of Father, communion and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with each one of us, now and forevermore. Praise God. Good night, everyone. God bless you and keep you. And tomorrow morning we'll start our worship service in time, 9 o'clock. God bless you.